Not cheese, not salsa, no guacamole, but SPX. SPX dip as you had yesterday and will this dip be eaten by Hungry for Gains new US investors as it was before? Today is 16th of July and welcome to the 4th episode of Block Revision. My name is Rafał Leszczenk and let's begin! And let's jump quickly to market mover section and get through economic calendar. As of yesterday, we were speaking about initial jobless claims, and uh, I'd like to add a few cents uh, here because. Uh, um, so let's look firstly at the final uh, chart of the US initial jobless claims, and we are right now at a fresh pandemic low. So. After this reading, we have found there are more than half of US governors that uh, have planned to end enhanced federal unemployment benefit programs. Uh, so we can find that the economy starts to uh, find the situation as getting back to normal. However, there uh, still needs to be done, still lots needs to be done. and. Um, I find that these situations won't make a uh, push effect to um, increase interest rates anytime uh, soon. On Friday we don't have uh, really any very important uh, earnings uh, events, so I'd like to just mention there's an Ericsson and Carl Schwab that are uh, putting their statements before uh, Bell, so if you're interested, take a notice on that and uh, quickly jump to economy view so as of start of this section i'd like to talk about our favorite topic that is inflation and the supply chain disruptions it's really mind-blowing right now so let's take a look at this chart spot rate for 40 foot shipping container from china to us hits new high and we can find that um, getting containers getting the products uh, getting it on the ships and uh, delays um, are getting really really um, difficult right now uh, this delays in getting any of those products makes us um, almost unavailable to transport any uh, specific goods so yeah this is uh, very very info important for the uh, government to tackle but uh, may that uh, get back to as it was before uh, soon i don't think it's so so easy whenever we are talking about the supply chain disruptions we uh, need to also mention the uh, the impact that that may have on um, prices because whenever there is an outstanding uh, demand for goods and an affordability of getting them and they may obviously uh, bring us uh, price surging right now there are some voices that uh, as the crude prices has peaked already and uh, has found this uh, its peak at the very important uh, resistance we may see the inflation expectations to bring lower because the inflation expectations are very correlated with you know, with um, the prices of oil however that may be uh, transitory that uh, that inflation may a little bit slow down but uh, may rather instead of a slow down may plateau so uh, it's just because the oil um, prices may not really mm, uh, slow uh, rapidly uh, in any time uh, soon uh, just because the OPEC predicts that the global oil demand will climb by 3.3 million barrels a day in 2022 about 3.4% and surpass 100 million barrels a day in the third quarter for the first time since the coronavirus mm, emerged and when we are talking about the pressure on inflation and also keeping the interest rates at the lowest possible, almost possible lowest levels, uh, it's worth mentioning uh, the chart of historic dislocations in the value uh, of uh, the emerging large caps that uh, is presented by this line and also the US large cap that is lagging behind uh, the uh, previously mentioned so as we can see the moods around the emerging 
large caps is very good so it's a sign of mm, uh, the risk appetite we are right now uh, the, the about the environment we are right now and uh, we need to also mention that mm, uh, whether uh, this uh, chart is looks very strong and that uh, whatever the performance uh, may be uh, just bear in mind that nothing goes in a straight line and uh, also just uh, remember that right now uh, in US stocks and um, uh, when it comes to the great performance it's uh, down to the FANG cohorts extraordinary, extraordinary success and uh, that's the uh, also the fact that um, these um, uh, stocks uh, dominating entire industry however just remember that uh, the US market is also addicted to uh, loose monetary conditions so what if that would change and when we are talking about them how money flows it's uh, also worth uh, looking at a quick reminder uh, what may happen if liquidity withdrawal may happen so um, money will uh, get back uh, from the riskiest emerging markets to small cap equities then to large cap equities and finally uh, getting back to higher yield fixed income and US treasuries uh, so um, maybe that won't happen this year but also be prepared for such turn and right now we are at indexes outlook and let's um, look at um, the chart I left uh, here it's a DXY that is uh, US dollar currency index and we can find that on RSI indicator we have found a double, double bearish um, divergence let's uh, spread it out so um, uh, this uh, 72 71 points area uh, has been rejected uh, twice and finally we started uh, forming uh, this um, divergence um, uh, that may bring us lower finally when uh, we um, take a look at the um, uh, chart uh, we have just filled this gap um, at the level of uh, 92 and um, often as it uh, is in the stock markets whenever there's a, uh, a gap filling uh, they uh, the, the stock the asset may be in this uh, pivotal moment that may bring us to the uh, bottom of this uh, slowly but surely forming rising uh, wedge and uh, as the rising wedge is uh, a bearish formation it may bring us um, lower just to the basement of this mm, uh, chart uh, here to the 90 uh, points so uh, if the US dollar with uh, the bond market uh, will uh, slow down as uh, I've mentioned in this scenario uh, it may bring US market even mm, uh, higher but it's just um, not confirmed yet so just uh, take a look on this chart so recently in a crypto outlook we've been talking about bitcoin the, the more than about any other cryptocurrency and i'd like to put my position um, regarding uh, what's my ethereum outlook right now because there are lots of uh, Mm, lots of anxiety on the market right now because Ethereum is dropping and uh, there are some cases that may explain uh, those uh, recent mm, uh, behavior of, uh, of uh, this asset and uh, right now uh, Ethereum is mm, ongoing the EIP 1559 uh, improvement in August because uh, don't Mm, don't bother this July because the headline wasn't uh, updated so uh, yeah the Ethereum is ongoing this um, uh, improvement and uh, uh, when um, touching the basics of Ethereum so whenever you want to uh, send a transaction uh, throughout the blockchain you have to pay fee in a, a unit that is um, called gas so um, recently we had to pay very high fees for the small transactions such as 50 bucks for sending even uh, 50 cents so it was ridiculous so right now uh, Ethereum is ongoing 
the target uh, that in August uh, uh, the burnt based fee uh, to will be sufficient to uh, sufficient for 50% uh, of extra capacity and uh, the Ethereum network will double the gas limit which will significantly should increase transaction capacity so it's bullish for ethereum uh, as uh, it should go through uh, some updates in order to uh, adjust to this uh, upcoming uh, demand for this asset uh, but uh, there there are another concerns uh, about um, ethereum that may uh, bring us a little bit more bearish stand so uh, right now ethereum is ongoing um, by this uh, by this year um, is switching to ethereum 2.0 um, and uh, this should uh, switch us uh, from proof of work mechanism consensus to proof of stake so ethereum 2.0 should bring us some features that may Mm, remove uh, the mm, uh, bottlenecks of this uh, blockchain uh, for instance uh, this switch to proof of stake uh, could also lower the uh, electricity usage of this blockchain uh, something that was uh, of concern uh, recently uh, but uh, finally the developers of uh, ethereum foundation has mm, explained that uh, the energy requirements uh, will remain unchanged after this uh, after this uh, switch so um, regarding the previous uh, concerns about this uh, environmental um, impact of uh, cryptocurrency uh, to this ESG sector uh, we may find that uh, switch to ethereum 2.0 would not be such revolutionary in terms of uh, how the uh, electricity usage will uh, low and the second problem of ethereum is uh, definitely the mm, uh, slow pace of uh, sending transactions uh, via blockchain so um, this uh, problem should be tackled by implementing uh, shard chains this shard chains as developers claim uh, should um, spread the load reducing network congestion and increasing transactions per second but uh, this implementation should be brought sometime in 2022 depending on how quickly work progresses so often in the it space there are delays regarding uh, of uh, how the improvements are going so uh, I would suggest this uh, to wait um, for this to wait about one and a half years since now. So uh, in order to bring back the Ethereum uh, usability, uh, in order to tackle this um, high demand, uh, I would find uh, that uh, that would um, make us wait longer than uh, previously expected. And that may not happen by this year and uh, talking about ethereum is bringing us to trade idea so we are talking over the uh, ethereum usd chart and we can find we were in this uptrend that was lasting throughout uh, over a year and uh, right after this bitcoin slump in the half of may uh, ethereum also has suffered and brought us about 60 about 60 percent lower so right now we are mm, heading you know, on the south and uh, forming this lower and lower bounces bounces from 1700 uh, level so this is the level i will be watching uh, for mm, uh, right now we can admit that uh, that may be a another area of uh, bounce so there is another important um, level that was respected few times before that uh, to uh, that ethereum may bounce uh, to so uh, right from this level of 1700s we may get back to 2100 so right now um, i would just stay on the sideline and watch whether we are going back to this uh, area and uh, whether we find a support or not 
if we find the support it's a great opportunity to uh, make a trade and uh, gain around 20 percent just to um, just to uh, assume that we'll get back to this 2100 area uh, if not there's obviously possibility of getting lower uh, if there won't be any strength around this uh, area of 20 of uh, 1700 uh, i would suspect um, that uh, ethereum is heading lower back to this 1400 level so uh, just to be accurate uh, we can put a board around here uh, and uh, with the possible target of 2100 i would put my stop loss and exit at uh, where the risk reward ratio be at three uh, three points so uh, the possible exit will be at uh, 60 hundred uh, with the possible target of 21 so uh, just remember that uh, ethereum is uh, in a a little bit bearish as uh, mm, environment right now uh, the if centralized exchanges net flows shows there are lots of people um, withdrawing um, ethereum from exchanges um, it means in the bearish uh, scenario uh, that uh, just the mm, lots of um, lots of investors are running away from uh, this asset but um, as you can also find ethereum funding rates is uh, about to get neutral but still bearish on uh, such exchanges as ftx and okx uh, so uh, it 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 means that uh, we need to stay very cautious regarding taking any trades because uh, the, the possible uh, downward uh, pressure may be also uh, also uh, very high and even if we are at this um, um, bearish environment for Ethereum, there are also some traders that are um, betting upward movement for Ethereum. And in that case, if you um, uh, break through this 1700 um, uh, area, uh, the traders uh, that uh, who sold puts uh, at that level may resort to hedging uh, downside risk by mm, shorting ethereum uh, further mm, uh, and uh, they may short ethereum at the futures market and the spot market as well so uh, that may uh, bring us to the spiral of uh, selling pressure and uh, may even get lower than 1400 uh, bucks as uh, ethereum is not very liquid asset remember just to put a tight stop loss and manage your uh, risk and when trading altcoins always remember about uh, what is um, bitcoin doing because whenever bitcoin slumps mm, um, it brings uh, lots of cryptocurrencies or lots of altcoins with itself uh, so mm, i would uh, just uh, suggest you to uh, not only uh, manage uh, how the ethereum uh, usd uh, position is going but also watch what btc usd is also uh, doing that's it for today thank you very much for watching and uh, on monday and tuesday i will broadcast another episodes there are um, block revision shots uh, very educational so um see you then and uh, to the normal episodes i invite you on wednesday